Mayday, mayday. It's a Sunday spray day today, guys. I'm coming live from the van today. Today, we're gonna spray some clients' yards. We're gonna do some follow-up sprays. I got a new client that's got a spray in a furt, uh, a couple furts, and then, uh, and then I'm gonna help my stepfather trim some hedges at his father's house. So it's my stepfather's father's hedges that we're gonna be trimming. You follow? Okay, so that's what we have in store for today, and uh, we're gonna get to it here in a second. All right, guys, we're at the first client's house. This is a follow-up spray, so it's more of a spot treatment than it is a blanket spray. Uh, I'm gonna show you what that looks like. It also looks very gloomy outside, but I checked the forecast, and it says there's only a 1% chance of rain, so. Let's cross our fingers and pray. Client number two, also a follow-up spot spray. Let's uh, give it a go. All right, this is a new client's yard. We're gonna remove a bush, do some herbicide, do some fertilizing. This is all that remains of the rose bush monster. It's, it's seen better days. It is ugly though. All right, this client's a little uh, embarrassed about their yard, but hopefully in a few months we'll have a yard they can be proud of. I'm gonna give you guys a look. You can kind of see all the junk that's in their lawn. We're gonna try and get this sucker into a nice uniform Bermuda. for the more impressive backyard. new client's yard we're gonna put down some Lesco 2525 pre or fertilizer with pre-emergent herbicide uh, this is gonna make it green and gorgeous and keep new weeds from popping up so let's have a look at that thing we have to do before we leave is we're gonna have to spray 
these little Bermudas growing out of these cracks. The last thing we had to do, I meant second to last because we have to blow any excess fertilizer off the sidewalk and street so it doesn't stain the concrete and fertilizer does no good on concrete. It does a lot better in lawns. Please like and subscribe for more content.